Hey everyone, it's Leanne with Paper Heart Scissors and I wanted to do something really fast and quick for you guys today because I am a confessed ink addict, color addict. I um, am collecting inks. <laughs> I don't even know sometimes um, how I manage to use them all, but they are primarily different. And when I um, saw that Simon had come out with six additional inks this spring that are here, Clementine, Dusty Sage, Velvet Orchid, Rose Apple, Winter Sky, and Sea Foam, I, um, of course, ordered them because I'm adding to my collection. And then when I got them, I also ordered a couple of things from Hero Arts, and, and I'll talk about that too. But I always wonder, you know, how do they compare when I go out to do my swatches? And I do have all of my swatches organized by color. Um, it's not as fancy or as organized as Jennifer's is, but it works for me and it really does help having them like this. I just, I don't have them, um, separated by companies. I really have them separated by color families. And so when I started looking through this, um, I, I found a couple of the colors that were similar, but different, um, from what I already had. And I wanted to... Um, explain that to you because if you have um, some of them and you're on a budget and you don't want to get the extra put the extra cost in then you might not need these so let's start with Clementine because we don't have a lot of bright yellow oranges um, at all and the closest color in the Simon family that I found was Melon. Uh, there actually is not another good match that I own for Clementine. Clementine is m a little more orange and a lot more and a lot brighter. So you can kind of see here the difference. And you know, light on camera is not accurate. But it really is a much brighter and a little more yellow color. So this is slightly, it's softer. I wouldn't say it's muted. It's just softer. So it's a, it's, Melon is a shade lighter than the brand new Clementine. Um, and these could layer really beautifully as well. So then um, there's Rose Apple. Rose Apple is on the right and that's the new color. And um, they looked when stamped, um, they looked very different from one another. When they dry, actually it's the opposite of the Clementine. Hot Lips is slightly more magenta and brighter. And Rose Apple is almost, it's a little more coral in color. So it's a little bit lighter and a little more coral. These two are, are different enough that you would, you, you might want both. Um, and I think they could also work really beautifully together in a tonal card. Um, then, uh, the new color was Dusty Sta Sage, which is on the right here, and Beanstalk Green is the same in hue, but it is actually, um, a, it is not as blue. So Dusty Sage really is a little bit more of the blue green, where Beanstalk Green is a little bit more yellow green, or moss, mo more mossy, a little more towards the the sea glass with the um with the dusty sage or a little more towards dusty sage it's sage colored <laughs> so but that's it it's in a, it's very close but they are slightly different um and then this one was the most confounding to me uh and i really had this was the one that inspired this test uh winter sky and cloudy sky so cloudy sky is the color that we had previously and winter sky is the new color and I don't even know if on camera you can tell the difference or not on paper printed on bright white Nina solar white there absolutely is a difference um, the winter sky is a little less muted it has less gray in it and it's a little brighter blue so it's still soft but it is not as gray and so I, I it is a necessary color for me. Maybe not for you, but it is a beautiful shade. But that's this inspired the test. 
Um, Velvet Orchid. Simon Says Stamp has nothing like this. The closest thing that I own to this is Hero Arts Soft Lilac. I would say if you had the Soft Lilac, you probably don't need to buy the Velvet Orchid, but of course that depends if you're a complete uh, collector or not. The Velvet Orchid is a little more blue. There is a slight difference, but they're, they're fairly close. Um, and then the standout with this collection is um, the Seafoam, the Simon Says Stamp Seafoam. I have nothing like it. It really is um, a step darker and more gray than the cloudy sky. And it is not like any of the other grays that I own either because of the blue. So this is a completely unique color for Simon Says Stamp as far as I can tell. I have all the distress inks and archival inks and um, the alt new inks and I don't have anything that really matches that sea foam so um, that's a very unique color <clears throat> and then the last new ink that I bought um, this spring was I bought both the Aegean Hero Arts hybrid ink and the Antigua Hero Arts mid-tone ink and this one I not so sure I would have I would have gotten both if I had known this because these two are so close I think really the only thing that's a little bit different the Antigua is just slightly more green it's a little bit more green and obviously the formulations are different so the hybrid is going to dry faster the dye the mid-tone you're going to be able to blend a little bit more um, if you're using an ink blending tool, but these two are just be aware when you order them that they are very similar So if you're on a budget um, I would go for the rose matter Instead because it is a fabulous new color So you guys um, this was really quick and down and dirty and live I'm not going to edit it or anything I just wanted you to get a feeling for what some of the how the new colors are different from some of the things that you might already own or if you were considering purchasing the new inks. Now you have a little bit more of a background on their differences with the other existing Simon colors or the Hero colors that you might have. Um, I hope this was helpful and I will see you really soon. Bye-bye.